Hey, what's up? It's Jared from Supergiant Ninja. Welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be doing some smoke or ink trails. If you haven't seen the uh, the preview yet, let me just show it to you real quick. So this is what we're going to be making. In the first part of the tutorial, we're going to be doing the, the rigging and animating of the fish getting it to swim around and then in the second part of the tutorial we're gonna do the the ink or the smoke trails using turbulence FD now the reason why I used a fish for this is because I'm actually not that good at rigging or animating but I was able to find a fish rig let me just bring it up real quick so this guy, I don't know how to pronounce that, but Oga O or however you say it, he came up with this fish rig that was really easy to do, and so, so that's what I ended up using for this tutorial. Um, and I think it turned out pretty good. But if you guys have, you know, if if you have something else that's pre-animated, a bird or a human, or you guys are good at rigging and character animation, then feel free to just skip this part of the tutorial and go to the next one. But Full credit to this guy, Oga O, for making the, the fish rig, and I'll post a link to, to where he has the tutorial. Um, also, I just wanted to show a couple of examples real quick of other people that did the same kind of effect. Here we got some fish with ink. And they've got a bird as well. The ink coming off of it. And what is that, like a dragon? pretty cool and then these guys I think it's like a butterfly it's a little smoky with particles yeah there's the butterfly again kinda of more like smoke same with these fish smoke and then particles but pretty cool stuff okay so let's jump into the tutorial The first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make a joint and so if you go to character joint it'll make a joint for you and then what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate it so if you hold command and drag it underneath it'll make another joint and what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to drag that second joint out and then we're going to take both of those so shift select and then duplicate them again and put them underneath and do the same thing drag them out to about the same size and then grab all of those and duplicate them again and this is going to be the rig for the for the fish this is what's going to be moving back and forth okay and then we'll just grab like maybe the last three duplicate those drag them out and take a look at that okay that looks good so next what we're gonna do is we're gonna take we're gonna click on this uh, parent joint here and we're gonna put an IK tag on it and so if you go into uh, character tags IK and then inside this IK tag what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this last joint as the end and then we're gonna go over to the dynamics and we're gonna enable the dynamics so now if we go and we play this uh, you'll see it's actually doing something um, and it's falling because there's actually gravity on it so if you go down to this forces drop down in the dynamics tab um, we can make the gravity zero and then it shouldn't be falling anymore yep that's what we want it to do because we don't want gravity moving it around we just want to move it around ourselves so next we're gonna bring in the model of a fish I just happen to have this uh, goldfish here fish. I'm gonna copy that and bring it over into here 
paste it in. And it looks like it's pretty small. So what we're going to do is take this uh, chain of joints and we're going to scale it down. If you click on fish and hit O, it'll zoom in on it. Let's just rotate him 90 degrees. And then move the joints over to kind of line it up with him. Scale it a little bit more. Yeah, that looks good. So now what we're going to do is we're going to make a cube. And let's scale this down. We're going to make it about the same size as the fish as well. Um, and just so we can see it a little better, we can turn x-ray on for the cube. And then even go into one of our orthographic views, like hit F2. And just resize it. So it covers the fish. Switch to a different view. Okay, that's pretty good. Now, what we're going to do is for the cube. We're going to add some segments to it because what we're going to do is we're going to attach the rig that we made to the cube and if it doesn't have segments it's not going to bend and we're going to want it bending back and forth because then afterwards we're going to attach that to the fish to make the fish bend so now you can see it's got some segments so now we're going to make the cube editable. So if you click on the cube and then hit C, that'll make it editable. And then we're going to select all of these joints. So shift select all those and then command select the cube as well. And then we're going to bind these together. And so what you do is you hit, um, you go to character, commands, bind and that'll bind them together. So now if we hit play and we move this joint around you can see the cube is waving back and forth, it's moving back and forth and bending. That's what we want. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take the fish and we're going to put it in a null. So we just hit group objects to put it in a null. And then we're going to go and we're going to get a mesh deformer and put it in that null with the fish and then in the mesh deformer we're going to drag this cube into this cages area and we're going to hit initialize so now if we hit play and we move this joint around the fish will be moving too that looks good that's that's what we want So now what we can do is we can go and we can start playing with the settings a little bit to get it moving how we want it. So first let's just go and get rid of this cube so we don't have to look at that. And then what we're going to want to do so that we're not you know, moving the fish around by hand, an easier way to do it is to, to put a vibrate null on it. So what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to group all these joints here. Just, just call it joints. 
And then we're going to put a vibrate tag on it. So right click, go to Cinema 4D tags, down to vibrate. And in the vibrate tag, we're going to enable rotation and we're going to check on regular pulse. So now if we play it, you'll see it's just moving on its own because of the vibrate tag. But it's moving really fast and so we want to change some of the settings. Down here in frequency, we're going to lower that maybe down to like 0.7 and see what that looks like. That's better. And we'll change that amplitude to like 35 maybe. Let's see what that looks like. That's not bad. I want to change one more thing. If we go back to the IK tag here, they've got this strength that we can change as well. And if we put that down a little bit, maybe down to like 15, see what that looks like. Now we're losing a little bit of the wiggle at the end. So maybe we'll put it back up a little bit to like 22. Yeah, that's pretty good. Let's make this a little longer. And take a look. Yeah, I like that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to make a spline for the fish's path. So if we go in and get a Bezier spline and then switch to one of our orthographic views so hit like F3 zoom out a little bit then we can make a path for him to swim along So maybe we'll have them go down and then come back up or something like that. And then if you want, if you're in point mode here, you can just select any of these points and move it around so we can get a little bit more depth in his swim. So maybe he starts back farther and then as he's swimming maybe he comes forward. Something like that, maybe. Move this up a little bit. Yeah, like that. So now we're going to put the fish onto the spline by going to the joint group and putting an align to spline tag on there. And then we'll drag our spline that we made into the spline path. Let's see what he's doing. Looks like he's going the wrong way. So we'll just have to rotate him around. There we go. Now we got them swimming the right way. So now if we go into the align to spline tag, what we can do is we can just keyframe this position. So if we set a keyframe here at the beginning by command clicking on it, and then we go down to say 160, 
make it a hundred and keyframe that. Oh, and we need to check tangential as well. Now we got them going the wrong way again. Let's flip them around. There we go. Now it's working. Let's see it again. Nice. So now let's just make a camera. And move it a little closer. See what that looks like. Pretty good. Let's go back a little bit. Still seeing this tail a little bit, so let's adjust it a little bit more. There we go. Looks pretty good. So now we've got our fish swimming along a path, and in the next tutorial, we're going to be diving into Turbulence FD and making some ink trails. Alright, see you then.